Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Tufnuts coming at you with another music reaction. Today we are here to commemorate a tragic day 20 years ago, 9-11, the day that the world stood still. <laughs> I actually remember this day. I was in uh, high school in math class when, I, when they turned on the TVs and I saw um, the tower being hit. Um, and the second one incoming, um, and it was it was a very eventful and uh, sad day, um, but it is what that specific event is kind of what gave me pride in my country. And five years later, I decided to enlist in the U.S. Air Force and serve my country for nine years, and um, I'm thankful very thankful for what we did and what we do now. Um, this is Alan Jackson performing the song, Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning? This was done at the CMAs all the way in 2001. Um, I vaguely remember this, um, this performance. It was so long ago. Um, but I'm ready to listen to it. It has a lot of deep meaning to it and... Sometimes it's good to reflect um, and think about our past and remember, you know, the brave people on that day. Uh, so with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this type of content. Um, but more importantly, just remembering those that we lost that day and those that we lost 20 years later um, due to this specific event because we've been in this war for so long. And um, I'm ready. <laughs> so here we go. Alan Jackson, where were you when the world stopped turning at the CMAs in 2001? Let's do it. Tonight, Alan Jackson is a nominee for four of tonight's awards. And the songs that he writes always tell it like it is. Simple truths that come from his heart. When he went, went to bed uh, late last week, he couldn't sleep because of an idea that he had for this song. It kept running through his head. So early in the morning he got up and he wrote this song and we're honored that he's chose to do it for the first time in front of anybody. Please welcome Mr. Alan Jackson. Can you imagine that writing a song that quickly with this amount of emotional impact? Um, it's almost like it was meant to be like he had help to write this song, not like help as far as uh, on a human level, um, help from uh, a higher power, if you will, uh, which I find extraordinary because these words do resonate with a lot of us and um, are, a, are a constant reminder of where we used to be. Uh, but let's go. September day Out in the yard Your wife and children Working on some stage in L.A. Did you stand there in shock At the sight of that black smoke Rising against that blue sky Did you shout out in anger And fear for your neighbor Or did you just sit down and cry Did you weep for the children who lost their dear loved ones? Pray for the ones who don't know. Did you rejoice for the people who walked from the rubble and sob for the ones left below? Did you burst out in pride for the red, white, and blue? The heroes who died just doing what they do. Did you look up to heaven for some kind of answer? Look at yourself and what really matters. You know, I would strongly encourage you guys, um, if you feel open, I, I would just, it's, it's always nice being able, obviously, to 
uh, read your guys' comments, but also respond. But I'm curious, for, for those that actually remember that day, I know it was such a long time ago, um, but I think for many of us uh, that were that witnessed it, I did not witness it in person, obviously, but um, I remember that day, you know. But I'm just curious, where, where were you guys at when this event happened? Um, if you don't mind sharing, if not, that's totally cool. Uh, it's just, it's, it, I just would, I'm just interested. Uh, and like anything else you want to share, whatever it may be. But, you know, the biggest thing I remember um, was the day after 9 11. Um, George Bush gave an incredible speech without bringing politics into this channel or this video. Cause we don't, I don't do that. Um, that day, that speech he gave that we will not falter and we will not fail. I remember the unity of our country. It didn't matter if you were a Democrat, Republican, green party, tea party, whatever party, everybody kind of left their shit at the door and shook hands, you know, and I'm using that as an example of we all got along in those moments as to where where we're at now, it's it's a little far to believe that that still that that moment's still there. Um, our country's a lot different than it was twenty years ago as far as loving your neighbor. And treating them like a brother, family, whatever it may be. Uh, there's there's so much wrong that's in America, let alone the world. And um, I hope we do better. I really do. <clears throat> For the sake of not just me, but more importantly, my family, my kids. I want them to live in a world that's better than the world I lived in. Um, but yeah, if you don't mind sharing that, I would be, really appreciate that. And I'll do my best to respond to as many of you as I can. And um, cool. So let's keep going. Matters. I'm just a singer of simple songs. I'm not a real political man. I watch CNN, but I'm not sure I can tell you the difference in Iraq and Iran. But I know Jesus and I talk to God, and I remember this from when I was young. Faith, hope, and love are some good things he gave us, and the greatest is love. Where were you when the world stopped turning that September day? Teaching a class full of innocent children, driving down some cold interstate. Did you feel guilty cause you're a survivor? In a crowded room did you feel alone? Did you call up your mother and tell her you love her? Did you dust off that Bible at home? Did you open your eyes and hope it never happened? Close your eyes and not go to sleep? Did you notice the sunset? First time in ages to speak to some stranger on the street. Did you lay down at night and think of tomorrow? Go out and buy you a gun. Did you turn off that violent old movie you're watching? And turn on I Love Lucy reruns. Did you go to a church and hold hands with some stranger? Stand in line and give your own blood. Did you just stay home and cling tight to your family? Thank God you had somebody to love. I mean, usually when I do these videos, it's more of a reaction, response, opinion as far as the performance in general. Um, but I kind of, if that's okay, I'm not really, I don't feel like getting too much into critiquing anything. He sounds incredible. It's Alan Jackson. I mean... Uh, if you know country, then you've heard the name Alan Jackson. He's a legend. He's authentic country. Um, the performance is incredible. It's very intimate. It's very emotional. It's very deep. Um, 
it's interesting and I like the idea that the spotlight's on him, even though he has this orchestra in the background um, or band. Um, but the spotlight, the light is on Alan Jackson um, because the words is what matter. It's not Alan Jackson that matters. It's the words and the meaning behind the song. Because um, I think if, you know, if the whole performance was, you know, a bunch of lights and, you know, a bunch of things happening, it kind of takes away from that emotional feeling. Um, so I think they did this incredibly well. And I know it was very well received. Um, so nothing but respect here, obviously, but let's finish it up. I'm just a singer of simple songs. I'm not a real political man. I watch CNN, but I'm not sure I can tell you the difference in our rock and our end. But I know Jesus and I talk to God, and I remember this from when I was young. Faith, hope, and love are some good things he gave us. And the greatest is love I'm just a singer of simple songs I'm not a real political man I watch CNN But I'm not sure I could tell you The difference in Iraq and Iran But I know Jesus and I talk to God And I remember this from when I was young Faith, hope, and love are some good things he gave us, and the greatest is love. The greatest is love. The greatest is love. Where were you when the world stopped turning that September day? I miss that moment. I don't miss the event that happened, but I miss that moment. Um, I mean, we've had moments since then that, you know, brought us close together again as a country, such as, um, you know, Saddam, Bin Laden, a few other small things. Well, I shouldn't say small. Um, just not as well known from the media. Um, we've had a lot of victories. That's for sure. But, um, man, I really hope our country gets its shit together. I really do. I really hope people set their differences aside, their, their political agendas, whatever it may be. I, I really hope... And I pray that change will come, real change. Not this fake garbage that we've dealt with for so long now, just some real, genuine change to where the people have the say. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, but more importantly, thank you for taking the time to share this specific video with me. Um, it means a lot. It really does. But um, I hope to catch you at our next reaction. Take care, my friends. Be safe. And as always, goodbye.